So I had this idea, what if it's practical to use my bandsaw to cut firewood? So I wheeled it out to where I cut down a tree earlier this year, which means I had to run the bandsaw off of a very long extension cord. I made this jig to clamp to the table to support the uh, pieces of log closer to the blade and also to protect the wooden table. And I put a wheelbarrow behind to catch the firewood. The bandsaw was barely able to start at the end of this long extension cord, but once it ran it was okay. Now unfortunately this was a rather windy day, so the sound is kind of screwed up, but I didn't have many choices as to which day because at least it wasn't a rainy day. Now this worked out uh, pretty well as long as the sticks were small enough that I could handle them, but still big enough to be worthwhile. It was very tempting to turn all the little sticks into lots of kindling. In fact, uh, this may be the uh, best part of this method. Uh, if you're living in a city and you don't have a chipper or something like that, this is a good way to turn all kinds of branches and stuff like that into kindling, as opposed to having to bundle them up and putting them on the curb. For very branchy branches, sometimes they got kind of awkward orienting it so I could cut the various branches off. Although once they got small enough, it became manageable. I used a battery part reciprocating saw to shorten some of the branches to make it easier to put them on the bandsaw. But I guess since I had my extension cord all the way out this way, I could have just used a plugged-in tool or better yet, an electric chainsaw. Of course, I could have just cut all the pieces to length on the ground with a chainsaw, but for the thinner stuff with a chainsaw, that gets kind of annoying, and also working standing at the bandsaw is a lot easier on the back. I ended up stalling a bandsaw a couple of times, but with it running off of such a long extension cord, it didn't really have that much power, so it wasn't a big deal to stall it. But this part of the video is not sped up, and as you can see, it easily cuts as fast as a chainsaw. And conveniently, the firewood pieces land on a wheelbarrow, and I don't end up with a whole lot of wood chips in the lawn. Complicated bits like this one would be really annoying to try to cut up with a chainsaw. And here I've got all the branches that could be useful for firewood all cut up. What's left is just spindly little things that are for the burn pile. And the tree is finally uh, mostly processed. And now it's time to put the uh, bandsaw back in the shop.